Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so we're back here playing Stone Block 2. Just loving this game. Just loving it, loving it, loving it. Alright, so today I think we're gonna get into uh the Inferium Seed stuff. Uh mystical agriculture. Uh we also probably are gonna skip this in particular thing because it's too easy as of a craft, and we can do this one because uh, we got some of this out of the mob farm, so that's pretty awesome. That means we can uh, craft all of these stuff right here. This is what we're going to need to um, go ahead and make our seeds and stuff like that. So if we want to get nether seeds, we're going to have to get the Insanium Essence. Insanium Essence is the red stuff with that crystal in the middle to get the purple essence. I don't know why it's not on the end of this. It's kind of crazy. Um, maybe it's somewhere else. I'm not. Yeah, it's right here. See, it's weird. It should be just right after here. Anyways, um, then you can get tier six crafting seeds as well. Oh, actually, I should put those on there as well. Huh? Aha! There we go. So that way we can get the uh the other one going. So I think that is uh oh, creative essence. No, no crafting group for that. All right, so that's cool. Uh, so that's our goal for today. Uh, pretty easy. We're going to start off with the uh, base crafting seed. And then we're going to, like, work our way up to all of them, right? And we're going to go all the way to this here. Um, that way we can get all the different types of essences. Now, uh, that being said, uh, I think we should look into a planter or something that plants for us uh a plant gatherer yeah probably just a plant gatherer right in here is not that great um there's no choosing how big it does it just does a nine by nine that's its plot size um what is this again a farmer yeah so i can maybe look See what else we got for farming. Uh, farmland, farmer, peat farmer, uh, farm station. Oh, yeah, I think this is another thing too we could do, right? All right, so let's go ahead and make this uh, plant gatherer. Uh, I think I'll just need this now. And we can do this. So now we have a plant gatherer so uh we'll go over here we'll check it out we'll see what it can do um i'm pretty sure it's going to be able to do exactly what i need it to do plop it here right oh it's one of those it's directional facing that's good that's good so if i go something like this right i can look at its uh, field of operation so if we do range add-ons right so if i do a plus one it'll just go plus one and that should give me like i think it's just a, a three by two well we'll go check that out we'll uh turn this off all right so we got enough to make uh this range add-on so we'll just check one out we'll see how this goes i'm sure it's gonna work out just fine um over here we got free power at the moment so i'm just gonna snag that just for a test we got another one of these Spectre Coils here, which is pretty awesome. Let's run over here. Alright, so now we got our range add on. We can uh, toss that puppy in there and then we can uh, give it power. So this will give it power and it will do what it needs to do. So it can harvest. I guess whatever's in here, right? It won't replant by the looks of it. Hmm. Interesting. Gather anything, gather trees, gather plants. Gather plants. It creates sludge, so we're going to have to get rid of sludge. That's going to be a thing. We'll have to do a, a liquid... Uh... Oh. Hmm. Interesting. It didn't replant it, though, right? So it just took stuff from it and never replanted it. Yeah. 
So did it just take that? Yeah, it did. I never replanted. So you need like a planter and a sower. So that's kind of not good. That doesn't like go up or alley a little bit. So I don't want to have 10,000 machines out there. One planting it, one sowing it. So then we're going to end up going with this uh, farmer here. I think this is the thing that we're going to need. Uh, yeah. So we'll uh, we'll try this out. We'll see if this one is uh, what we're looking for. Because uh, that wasn't it. We would have to deal with sludge. And it doesn't replant anything. So that's a bummer. So one good thing about having the, the mob farm. Is uh, is that you can like sometimes get uh, different things here. So you need a Z-Logic controller from here. Well uh, we get them right from our mob farm. So that's pretty awesome. I can't complain with that. I'm going to have to go through this stuff here there soon. And see what uh, what is in here. Uh, I'm sure there's all kinds of loot in there because I know this is like full, full, full. So this is probably like super full. So if we look at the uh, the farmer here, um, we're going to need some solarium. And we're going to need that for the soul casing as well. Uh, oh, no, we're going to need all this crap again. Anyways, I'll, I'll find a, another way to make that. Um, we'll get to that after. But I want more solarium. So... We can make a chicken. <laughs> so we can breed a uh, soul sand chicken and a gold chicken. We don't have a gold chicken yet. That's an iron chicken and a yellow chicken. And we'll get that. And then we can get... Um, then we'll get our gold chicken. And then we can breed the soul sand chicken and our gold chicken. And we can get our solarium chicken. So I'm going to prepare that, do that. And then that way we can get some solarium. Uh, anytime we want, we can add it to our list of things. All right, so there we go. We got our uh, gold chickens. Um, it took quite a while. <laughs> Apparently, the uh, odds are not uh, very, very good, but at least we got uh, gold chickens now, so that's good. So now we can start breeding these for 10, 10, 10s. Now we have our uh, gold chicken. Uh, we got uh, the soul sand chicken from up here. We'll take them and we'll uh, toss them in there like that by... And then uh, we'll fast forward the time. Uh, okay, we got one solarium chicken. That's good. That's good. Uh, we'll see what we get here. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Now we got two. So now we have our solarium chicken and our gold chicken in here. They're just doing great. So now that uh, is just doing its thing. So now we got to work on uh this stuff here the uh soul attuned dye blend i don't know if i have any of this left um i don't know how much i've made of it the last time we got soul powder uh that's just grinding up that that's pretty easy um quartz powder we can just grind up quartz uh, black organic dye we can get that from here and the organic brown dye um Oh, yeah, the slime ball and the twig thingy, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where you got eggs and the twigs. All right, what else was there? Uh, brown. Which one did we use the last time? I think it was like the eggs, the cocoa beans, and then the charcoal, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so that's the one we'll do. So <laughs> Do uh, a stack of, uh, yeah, a stack of that. And we got cocoa beans up here. And then we can go make uh, crushed charcoal. And then uh, we'll grab a stack of this at the same time, too. Uh, and off we go. Okay, so I had five left of that soul attuned blend stuff, but just not enough, though. Um, or is it enough? How much did I need? Uh, soul attuned dye. Oh, I have enough. I got just, just one for the soul casing. Okay, so I had enough left. I didn't have to actually go ahead and uh, make some more, but that's good. That's good to know. I'll just leave this in here for next time then. Since I was thinking about having to make some, but I found some, so that's that's really good. All right, so let's find out what else we need here. Um, now we just got to build the casing. So it's iron, grains of infinity, and iron bars. All right. Well, now we can make the uh, the thingamabobber here in the middle. All right. Go like this. 
And then you need to make that in an alloy smelter, right? All right. So let's go over here to the alloy smelter. We never did, um, <laughs> never did upgrade this thing yet. That's fine. That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll upgrade it there very, very soon. All right. So next, uh, these vib vibrant alloys and stuff like that, we can do that. Plop them into, uh, that <laughs> now. Over here. Though. Now this is that, so we just need two, right? That's perfect. Now the diamond ones is that. All right, so we need one more like that. Oh. Uh, one more. Now we should have enough to go one with the diamonds. Uh, is that not the same kind of pulsating iron nuggets? Which ones are these? Uh, resonant ender and that. Okay, so this isn't the same stuff at all. No, 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 no. Now, uh, I believe I got everything we got uh, needed to get going. So we're going to start with this here because I've been wanting to do this for a little while now. Um, so let's get these over and done with. I need two of these. One, two. Just put this back down. And then we'll just put those two here. So now we got those two. And I believe it's just this thing here, right? Uh, we need one of these. Yeah, that's the one. I want to uh, make more than that. And then this dye blend. Um, I'm crushing this now. Organic black dye. Charcoal and uh, slime, huh? Or an egg. I can do that. Uh, do we not have that here? I got one organic black guy. How much do we need? Uh, what was I looking at here? This stuff here. Oh, I just need the one. Oh, well, that's perfect. And then, okay, we just need to grind up one of these, which is one of those. All right, so back here, 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 here. Oh, we're missing the pulsating. Oh, yeah, because I didn't convert it. Crud. All right, so let's do that. Man, we gotta go back here, back here, back here, here, here. I would craft one of these. I'm gonna have to craft another one of those anyways, but whatever it is what it is. Um, yeah, I told you I was crushing that. I think we'll just crush this one first. I don't know how many that's gonna give me. It probably wouldn't give me enough, right? Um, yeah, how many do I need anyways? I didn't even look at that. I need four. So hopefully this gives me more than one. No, just gives me one. All right, so let's go make some more of those. Mm -hmm. Uh, I will make, I will make all four. And then... Uh, let me out. I'm going to save one because I know I need one. <clears throat> How many is in there now? Just the three. All right, so that would be four. I can go back to crushing quartz out. All right. Good, 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 good. All right, now we got all that silliness away. Uh, let's go here. Let's uh, craft this up. Oh, well, that's pretty good. It makes four of it, though. That's not bad. I'm kind of happy with that. All right, so let's go back over here. A lot of back and forth going on here. Um, so we'll one of these with uh, that casing. 
that will make us that. I can uh, speed this up. There we go. That's pretty awesome. So now we have that going on for us. Wicked, wicked. Uh, now let's go here. Now I should be able to make one of them. Oh, baby, look at that. Look at that. Wow. That's great. Um, let's remove this. I don't know how this is going to work now. I have no idea. Give me the old one. All right. So. So, so, so. Uh, do we put it in front or on top? I don't know. Oof, look at that. Wow. Oh, we got to put a capacitor in here. Oh, I think we got some of those. I think we got some of them, didn't we? Uh, we got a double. I don't know how many you can put in there. We'll find out. Just the one, maybe? Or can you, like, throw all eight in there? I don't know. It's just the one. All right. So it still gives a pretty good power, I guess. We can wait till we get the other one. Um, gonna have to get up there though and place this stuff. So, oh, I can still do this. Does that work? That still puts stuff in there? I wonder. Let me just take that out and maybe go. I think that would be more sensible, maybe. I could see that happening. But then I wouldn't be able to use that chest, right? Hmm. Very good, very good. So, um, what do I want to use to test that out with? What can I use to test that out with? Well, we made it, I guess. Do we need anything to make here? Soul machine case. I already did it because I got my soul machine case here. So I guess we're just missing to make these and then we're done making that other machine. So the farmer, right? I don't know how many of these in the future we're going to need, but we'll have to, uh, we'll have to check these out for sure. Uh, so we need to, uh, oh, I got to make the ingots. Oh, I just got a quest of some sort, I guess. Maybe I've just never, um, I never came out of the inventory the last time I made them. Is that that's very possible? So let's do this here. I need two of those. So let's come out of the inventory, nothing. And what else do we need here? Oh, we can make it now. So now we got a farmer. That's good. That's very good. Now I got all this stuff on me though. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait. Can't wait. All right, so let's uh, throw all this in here for now. So now we got a farmer, right? Let's go see what this farmer can do. Now, if I remember, it said something about the capacitors. So the more capacitors they have, the more area. No capacitor. All right, plus we'll have to put a hoe in there. And then we're really going to have to... Oh. And I guess it's going to need power too, right? So we're going to have to power it somehow. Huh. All right. So we're going to have to figure that out. Let's, uh, have a flux point. <clears throat> uh, it needs capacitor. Just there with one of these. Then. Wonder how much else do you need there? We'll just uh, go over here and check this out. All right, so if I plop that there, put the capacitor in. Now it says I got no power, but then they would put that on top. Now. Always active. Show range. Whoa! This too is a big range. Look at that. That's crazy. I guess if I were to put a hoe and stuff like that in there, it would like farm the land and, and trim crop. 
Oh man, that's insane. That's huge. That is huge, man. Not exactly what I was looking for either. I was trying to keep things simple and small and that's uh that's horrible. Now where did that point go? There it is. Oh, alright. Um what do we do now? So I found a third option now. <laughs> we'll see about uh, going with these. Um, uh, it's almost like the, the, the farmer and the other one was almost the planter was good. So anyways, we'll try this one here. Uh, the uh, uh, harvester from Cyclic. <laughs> Just a dispenser. Uh, some of this, some obsidian. So I gather that stuff around. We'll try it. Uh, point this at your field of crops and it will gently harvest everything. We plant seeds as it goes. The harvester crops just land where they are so you can use other means to collect them. Magnet, fan, redstone controlled. Oh, okay. So it doesn't collect it, it just harvests stuff. I wonder what the area is. Yeah, it doesn't tell me how, how, what the area effect is. That's fine. I don't mind the whole collecting thing. I can deal with the whole collecting thing, but I need to find out what the area of uh, effect is. So we gather that and I'll come back. So, Spencer. Got our harvester. Uh, that point with me just in case. All right, so now this harvester, let's go find out what it can do. Uh, that's pretty crazy, man. Go through all these things. Uh, okay, so it faces wherever backwards. Go like this. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Ladies and gentlemen. I think we found exactly what we need. We are making a bunch of harvesters. Because all we have to do is feed it power, right? And then we can do the whole collection thing. So awesome. There. So out of like three machines that we were looking for, the harvester is the one to go with. That's perfect. All right. So I'll figure out how I'm going to do this, where I'm going to do this. I think what we're going to do is we're going to use this side. So I'll mimic... Um, I was thinking about mimicking this corridor going all the way down, but then like, you know, we chopped a bunch of stuff out here to, you know, put piping in the back here and all that kind of stuff. So it doesn't kind of really look the same, so like the structure on the map. I'm not really kind of worried about now, but I was thinking about like kind of just keeping the room the same. So I was thinking about doing the dimensions like this and maybe just doing plant farms all the way in like along the sides, kind of like this. Mm, I think that would be pretty good. Um, I don't know how many plant farms we're going to need going ahead. You know what I mean? So like, that's why I was kind of thinking about keeping it uh, low key or maybe even then, because like, this is our hallway, right? I want this to be all kind of like that. I don't want to interfere with that. Yeah, okay. That's what we'll do. We'll build it over here. All right. So at the other end of the, uh, the, the base here, we got... Uh, these little cubby holes that uh, I'm going to make going all the way down. It's uh, not exactly an even room, so like I try to use odd numbers, but it's kind of an even room, so it kind of screws up a little bit. So I got like a gap here and a gap here that I'm not going to use uh, just because it's going to look weird if I have more on one side, more on the other. But it doesn't matter. Um, I think we're going to end up putting like uh, all the items that we grow here into like a chest thing here. Um, our Yaba storage system thing here that we're going to do like all over the base. So kind of do something like that here. And then this one I could just like leave blank. Right. So that way we have lots of room for different materials that we're going to bring into the, this area. So I think that'd be a good use of that space. So that way it would kind of make it look good. So the idea is to have like the harvester at the back. We'll have some kind of um, uh, ender hopper or something like here, something that can pick up just this area. And uh, yeah, that's about that. And then uh, if the air, if the things like when it's harvesting, if it like starts plopping out the area, maybe we'll just put like uh, it back one more, 
and we'll put stained glass in front of it and then that way everything will be contained in there that too might give it a different look too it might like it look super nice so i might do something along those lines but uh now that we've gotten our area set up to where we're gonna think we're gonna do all of this i think it's time we start getting into our seeds so let's go and do that so we might have a change of plans uh coming forth here because <laughs> uh look what i just discovered <laughs> if you with these seed row press uh, um uh, reprocessors i think they're kind of like they're like growers right so i'm assuming you just gotta feed it like energy or whatever and it's gonna grow this stuff like super super fast so anyways, here's the recipes, like you get all the inferium seeds and all the, any kind of like seed that you want, like you can put in these things and it's going to grow this kind of essence, right? So I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to go down this line of uh, checking out these uh, seed reprocessors. Um, there they are down here. Uh, seed, oops. They're all right here, so uh, what we'll do is we'll go like this. Oh, uh, I didn't want that one. Uh, let's let that. There we go. Oh, yeah. So now we got all of them. Okay. So now we'll check these out. Uh, do you need, like, the previous one? Yeah, you do. You need the previous one to get to the next one. So that's kind of cool. You know what I mean? Like, we can start off from the bottom here, and we can try to make our way to the top. So, um... A block of solarium that's pretty easy stuff so uh we'll get into the making this stuff uh a base essence ingot Ooh, what's this oh okay that's easy prosperity shards and that ah easy peasy man easy peasy and you can like even smelt that stuff too like oh, oh okay okay you'd have to actually create it first and then put it in there that's fine. There's no like alloy smelting thing for it. It's just a recipe. Okay. So I'll get to those prosperity shard thingies and the iron. All right. So before I get uh, too carried away and uh, going through this whole process here, I started doing the base seeds and then the other seeds. And I was like, oh no, I gotta, I gotta start recording. <laughs> Being the silly twerp that I am. Okay. So like, um, I did this one and then I bookmarked this because in order to do, uh, this block, you need solarium, which you have to do an alloy smelting, which is soul dust, and prudences, which is soul stone, which is soul, which is stone, and then soul sand mixed together, and you got then you got to crush it and so forth and blah blah blah, and then here's this essence, but then you need one of these crystals or the master one. I chose to do both, like because they're part of the quests. So if we go to our quest line here and we look at here that we're starting to complete the Inferium Essence line, so uh, which is good. This is pretty awesome. Um, <clears throat> I think we have this Ultimate Furnace. I think that's what is uh, right here. Um, so when it comes time to do the quest line, we just got to break it down and, and you know do it. So, um, so uh, the next thing, I guess, uh, to do is... Uh, what are we missing for this? Are we missing to build this thing yet, or can we build it? Uh, just the Inferium Essence Level 2. Okay, so, um, go back here, do this. I just need a little bit more of that Essence, right? Alright, so we'll go like this, and we'll just split it up. Perfect, so we should have enough to do that craft now. Um, here, pick one of these seeds. All right, just to make sure that like we're not completing quest, right? Um, and then do this thing here. Now I want to check what this thing is, because if this really does grow seeds, like say if I want uh, inferior seeds, okay. So one seed. Okay, level one seed gave me that. Level tier five seed would give me five. Okay, so a reprocessor. Okay, so if I get too many seeds, this is where I throw the seeds. 
Okay. So I still have to mine the seeds then. Like, create them. You know what I mean? Like, because, like, <laughs> you could, you could do a set up a whole chain, right? Of, like, automation based around this one seed <clears throat> creating the next one, right? So you're inferior. Oh, man. So what, which one's for planting then? Like, just out of curiosity, like, uh, one of these have to be for planting for making Ethereum seeds, right? You should be able to plant one of those. Let me go check out of the mob farm. Let's do some experimentation because I'm not quite sure. Yes, I can. I can grow it. And you can speed it up with your acceleration wand. So, okay, that's good. We can still do our farming thing, <clears throat> which will farm each one. Um, now, just out of curiosity, here, I want to go back to this thing right here, right? So, uh, how did it show me the recipes again? Okay, so there was like tiers, so tier 5. Inferium seeds. How do you get a tier five seed? Oh, it's a uh, inferium seed. Okay, so it just doesn't change colors. It just the seed itself doesn't change colors. Okay, so let's go see about making all these different types of seeds, and then uh, planting them where I want to plant them over there. Means we're gonna have to bring water over there and all that stuff too. All right, so uh, let me figure some stuff out and I'll be back. All right, so going forward, I think this is how I'm going to do this. Um, I'll use this side as a little bit of an example as well. So the cables kind of just go right underneath, right? And then I'm going to run the power the exact same way too once we get the uh, better cables. Uh, for now, I'm just going to use this as an example and we won't like go ahead and build anything else today. Um, I think we're just going to concentrate on getting all the tiers of uh, of seeds, so then that way I can go ahead and make the the the, the, uh, the nether star ones, and then that way we can go forth and getting all kinds of nether stars, right? So um, I think we're going to do something like that. So I'm going to go back over here. Um, like I said, this is just going to harvest these things, harvest the 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 stuff, and put it in here. So every time it's done its little cycle, it'll try harvesting. Bam, it tries to harvest. You know, it does that like every so cycle, right? Um, and then I have just everything running down here into this little box. So that's going to give us essence. So I'm going to do the first six essences there. And then we'll go around and we'll, you know, fill up whatever we have to fill up in here, right? So I figured this is going to look pretty good. I think it'll look nice. Um, so yeah, let's go concentrate on those seeds now. Okay, so we did the first tier already. So now let's do the uh, the second tier. The second tier we're going to require... Okay, so let's do some math first. Okay, I want nine of each, right? So we have the first one already. So we got one, two, three, four, five tiers left. So five times nine is uh, 45. So we're going to need uh, 45 of these tier ones to go forth, right? Which is just the, you could use basic crafting seeds. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, where is that basic crafting seed? I think I put it here, right? It's like, is it usable? Like, does it get used? I want to see. Does it get used up in the process? It does. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Oh, okay. So now I see. Now I see. Now I see. Because before i was just making the inferium seeds to grow these ones are not to grow these ones are just to craft okay okay so um going there for too because like you can do it like this too oh that mouse I'm telling you 
Uh, that was not the same seat, no? I thought that's how it was. Hmm. Anyways. I won't argue. Um. So, alright. I guess we're gonna need, uh, these are the ones you plant. No, these are not the ones you plant. How did I do the other ones, then? I know I got those ones out of the mob farm, but you can craft them, too. Um. Essence. So you can craft these seeds as well, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's see. No? Let's go first essence. That with this. I don't know why they don't show the... Uh, Inferium seeds. I guess that's what we gotta look at. Inferium. Uh, this is what I was talking about. I should have crafted one of those. You got a tier two Inferium seed. A tier three inferior see, see these are the ones that you can grow <clears throat> so i'm gonna like bookmark these two i think one two three four five and there's also a tier six which is this one right here so that's all of these all right so we'll go forth and we'll do the the seeds here one okay so where's that little crystal i had a crystal thing too Let me put that away There's that one, but I have another one. Ugh, I can't wait to get more organized. <laughs> uh, is it probably over on this side over here? Could be. Knowing me, it's over here. Nope. Yeah, right here. That's exactly where it was. <clears throat> All right, so now, now we need this, this seed right here. So now we need more of uh, this stuff here. So let's go and uh, do that. And why don't I just do this? Yeah, because we're going to need more of that going forward. Right? So we'll take this one and then we'll surround it. That'll give us the uh, crafting tier two seed, right? Now we got the tier two seed now we need the tier c three seed so we need some of this kind of stuff so if we grab the previous stuff so we'll go one two three four i believe it's something like this right and we go like that right and we we'll put that seed in the middle go all the way up like I know I could be, they, they, they give you the, like this crafting seed to go all the way up to do all of each individual ones, but I don't understand the point of the crafting seed, you know, <laughs> kind of don't. Oh, unless it's used for these. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. I get you. Now I understand the point of the, of the tier. See, oh, see, this is everything I wanted to see. Okay, so these are the only crops, I guess, that you need something special underneath. Everything else is just the farmland. I would assume, right? Because, like, I don't see anything else that gives you... So, dragon eggs. You just need a dragon egg crux. The awakened draconium. We can get that. And whatever this stuff is, I have no idea. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's continue. We're going to get off track here. So the next one is uh one, two, three, four, four. 
So we should be able to grab that. I'm going to need more than that, right? Jeez. Uh, well, at least four more. Oh, boy. Okay. We'll need more going forward. Let's do more. Doesn't matter. Like, was this. We'll be growing all of this stuff there very shortly, so it's going to be all good. Um, go like this. I'll give us more of that. We're going to need more of this going forward, anyways. So now we got the blue. Is that what we're trying to do now? Yeah, the blue one. See, we're now we're going to need even more, right? Because that's not even. Oh, yeah, that's enough to make the next one. We'll put the seed there. There we go, and then we got that one. That's perfect. So let's make a bunch more of this essence. I think we're going to need a bunch more. We'll craft up what we got left here. So it's probably worthwhile making all the seeds for sure, right? Because if you're going to have to go through all this nonsense every time, well, it's just horrible. It's horrible. Okay, so we'll upgrade these. Bam, like that, and this. Boy, oh boy, who doesn't make a lot of it, eh? <laughs> wow. When you're going up tiers, man, when you're going up tiers. Okay. Good thing I got kind of got like even amounts here. Oh. Except for that, now I'm a little uneven on that side there, but whatever is what it is. We got 14 here. Can we get to the next one? Okay, so the red one was the next one, so that's not bad. Uh, we already had the red ones on us, which means we can do like that. That's perfect. So let's see if we have enough to do. I guess we need four, right? In order to get the last one. So, yeah, something like this. And then we got the last seed there, like that. The last crafting seed, anyways. So, there. Now, if we go look at our, our quest line here, we got quite a bit of stuff here. Now, we can, like, mass collect all 20 of these. So, we should do that. So this is what we got, epic bacon, basic capacitors, hoppers, drop of evil, mechanical crafters, two climbing gloves, uh, cobblestone generators, um, exchanging gadget, guess that's pretty good, um, item magnet, that's not bad, uh, this is very good, <laughs> that's good, that's really good too, um, eh, that's good, uh, not so good, oh, and that's good too, we got another ME drive. So that's pretty sweet. I'll just take this ME drive and we'll put it up. Uh, oh, we are going to do something like that here, but I'll just temporarily put it here like this, right? All right. So I think what we're going to do, uh, we're going to wait for our essence to go and get more and more as time goes on. But, but we can, in the meantime, um, craft something. I think we have enough. I think we have enough. I think we just have enough, honestly, to go ahead and craft this. There we go. We have our very first nether star seed. <laughs> um, this is pretty awesome. This is pretty awesome. So I think what we'll do is we'll uh, remove this because that's not what was supposed to go there in the first place. And then what I'll do is I'll just like well, plant it like right here. That should grow relatively quick, and then that should start giving us uh, another stars. So we'll go insert here, and then we should start getting another stars there. Um, uh, see, it does grow. Uh, no, wait, it might not grow. Wait a second. Hit, hit, hit. hit. Um, let's go over here. Kind of forgot one thing. Um, 
I went to the wrong way. I meant to go to my mob farm. Dog nabbit. So, if we grab... Where is that? Uh, I'm sure we have them. Like these here. Another star crooks. I'm sure I picked those up somewhere. Did we not get two of these? I'm pretty darn sure we did. Oh, we had them as rewards. There we go. We did. All I need is just one for now. Um, uh, where's my hoe? Do I have it on me? There you go. So I have to break this piece of dirt. Uh, Alright, so what we do is we take this nether star crux, we put it down here, you take your dirt. Put it on top, you hoe it, and then you put your seed in it, and that should technically let it grow. Um, if you look at the whole nether star growing thing, uh, this thing. There, this is what I'm looking for. You got a nether star, and your seed has to be planted in farmland. I'll give you this, but this has to be underneath, and then I'll give you these nether star essence. So there you go. We got 57%. It's growing as fast as it possibly can. Um, this is within the 9x9 nine nine of that, plus it's getting sprinkled by this. So yeah, it should uh, technically go in there, and we should be able to get uh, lots of that. So I'll let that go forward. Um, I did stop the... The, the the wheat i think we have enough for now anyways going forward anyways but right now our main concern is uh let's try to get this essence right because we need to get uh, to the tier six seeds of uh, these things here and that way we can produce lots and lots of uh, this essence because uh in order to continue going up to get more essence right well we're gonna have to keep doing these auto craft things and eventually i'm gonna set up an auto craft setup where I think we might do that next episode, where we set up something where the first batch is going to go in here, and then it's going to make this uh, this prudent essence, and this prudent essence will go forth, and he'll make this essence, and then going forth, we'll make uh, the next one, and then so forth and so forth, right, all the way up to the purple stuff. And then we'll try to stockpile it so that way, uh, as we're creating it, we'll have, uh, we'll kind of do like a round robin system where it'll, it'll split it up from one side to the other. And then we'll constantly do like a little bit, we'll go here, a little bit, we'll go there, a little bit, we'll go here, a little bit, we'll go there. So that way we're always crafting and storing stuff. So, and we'll have to make multiples of these. And I do think we did get some auto crafters here for. As a reward, yeah, these mechanical crafters, these could come in really, really handy. Like we could use these to uh to to automate our crafts, right? So that's pretty cool. So I think that's how we're gonna end today's episode. We did quite a bit of stuff today. Um getting ready to get like finally our our nether star production uh, up and running here, which would be pretty awesome. So how come that didn't go in here? Maybe it's because it's not set for that. How about this? Oh, no. Okay. And I have to break. So it kind of remembers what was in it before. So if you break it, 
and then put it back. Um, and then put in whatever you want to put in. That works like that. So yeah, I insert and perfect. So now every time it goes there, we'll be able to get uh, essence. Now we do need, um, <laughs> we do need, uh, was it nine essence to make one shard? And we need three shards to make one star. So we're going to need a lot of these going forward. That's why we're going to need a lot of um, those going forward. So that's why I think the next episode we'll get uh, we'll get there and we'll we'll do an auto crafting system where we'll have all of this essence being fed into, I guess, an auto crafting area and yeah, we'll have something like that. We'll have to do something. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be pretty intense. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.